right, guys. Now, I can't find my tripod. I'm trying to set this up, okay, to, to get this reading. I've got the stage going. We've got the stage going here, okay? Now, I was using these decks, as we know, and here we've received a message because as I was just moving the crystal power tarot, it flew open and we have a card right here. One card is sticking up and we're going to find out what it is together. We just got to move this bamboo out of the way. Hello. Seven of Swords. I take great care of what I value. And this ties in to um, our last message. The message before the last. And this is the message I'm talking about. It was with this one right here, this card. I have the energy I need to realize my goals. And this is healing with the masculine. This is untwisting things with the masculine and healing. Well, that was pretty spectacular. It's not always that spectacular when I receive the messages, but that was. Okay, so this is where we're starting. We're just starting here. This has to do with all this work we've been doing with the masculine and untwisting it with the masculine. This is when we heal from the matrix. We're working with the element of air. We're healing with the element of air. The element of air is challenging us to heal from the matrix from the from the seven of swords from the five of swords the trickery the deception the lies they're helping us to heal from this and we know that we're working with the masculine we know that we're working with healing with the masculine that's the part of the expansion we're on and you know what, guys? I was in the shower and I was just... I felt all the pain for the masculine. I felt so much pain within my being. Everything that has happened, you know, it's not just the feminine. The masculine too. The masculine's been deceived. The masculine's been tricked. The masculine's been separated from the feminine and not allowed to nurture and create and understand. Both of us have been deceived. And now the masculine healing from that, healing from force, where we forced ourselves, how, you know, forcing ourselves to go to war, forcing ourselves to go to work, forcing ourselves to get up sometimes and keep going when, you know what, we need to grieve. We need to heal. We need to sleep. We need to rest. We need to repair. We need to mend. We need to understand. We need intimacy. You know, we're healing from a lot of violence, guys. And I, I mean, in our families, not just even in our families, like you can really see sickness come, come out, right? It comes out, ooh, pets. You know, like even me and my brother were talking about this. It's like, you know, like we just wean animals right from their mothers. And now people that don't understand, you know, like we're gonna put a dog in a cage with a clock and then we're gonna be upset with it if it cries because it misses its mother. Guys, that's twisted. That's twisted. We gotta untwist what we twisted here. We gotta untwist some of these perceptions. So we gotta untwist where we force life. We don't force life. It's natural. Now, sometimes we have to use force to get where we're going. We have to force ourselves to move to create, to face things because we know we need to. It's time. It's time for movement. But when we don't honor time for rest, when we don't honor time for intimacy, when we don't honor time for healing and regeneration, it's asshat backwards again. This is untwisted. We understand we're going to take great care of what we value. And guys, right now, right, right now, I'm telling you, it needs to be your health. That's the message that's coming through loud and clear. 
our health. Healing with time. Guys, we're going to really begin working with time. We're going to really begin understanding time. And like, you know, shifting. We're going to like, we're going to get in that Merkaba and we're going to decide where do we want to go? Where are we going? You know, do we want, how, how, how do we, how are we envisioning this future? How are we, how high vibe is this future? How high vibe do we want to go in that Merkaba? And then we're going to get within the present moment because it's happening within the present moment. And we're going to allow the expansion. Now, we also have some more channeled inf information here that we're going to get some cards on. And thank you for everyone joining in for the new moon in Capricorn reading. All parts. And to all you new subscribers, old and new guys, much love, much love. We're raising the vibes, right? We're building the communities of new earth that support and they allow room for the expansion. Because we have to allow room for the knowledge. We have to allow room to expand off the knowledge. We have to allow, allow room to expand off this consciousness. We can't, but we must expand, right? It's our time. It's our time to shine. So we're going to know something. Just say no. And the, these, this is an energy in motion oracle, okay? So... The element of air wants us to know something. Because remember, it's challenging us, but it's going to give us the solution. So I asked them. I'm like, well, just know what? And then this is what they said. You received this message. Do more research. Dear God and Archangel Raphael, thank you for clearly and gently leading me to the information that I need to know for my well-being. Please. Give me the courage to be assertive as I take charge of my health care needs. So guys, we're going to take charge of our health care needs. We really need to amp up our health care patterns for new earth right now and what we're building. This is the message. This is the time we're in. You're like, what am I building? You're building health care patterns. Guys, we need to build health care patterns. But that are connected to new earth. That are connected to plant medicines. That are connected to uh, healing with vibration and sound. That are connected to healing with nature. That are connected to healing with what's what? What's your body telling you, man? What's your body telling you? Oh, guys, I got a puppy right now. I got, I'm, I'm babysitting. I'm babysitting. Dog love. This is a pup. This is a true pup. You ain't still a pup, guys. Mm. This is tofu. This is tofu. And he's spending the week because his companion bear, and bear is, I mean, a teacup Pomeranian. He's not with him and he's very lonely. So we came to be with Biscuit Boo and Maxwell. And we're all chilling, as you can see. And he's a lover. He's a true lover. And he needs some love. We heal with the animals around here, right, guys? Animals are our friends. We're back. Okay. I don't know what I was channeling. Just, just completely distracted by dog love. Now, so we're moving forward. Whatever we're going to research about, which we're going to do some research right now. It's going to allow us to restore balance and have forward momentum. And this has to do with traveling in our Merkaba through time. Okay. It's like we're going to time shift to our best future. But that means we're going to act on it. So it's like if you were going to, okay, you have this vision of your grandest future through healing and doing hard, the hard things you got to face, right? For healing, it's balanced. So grand vision is like, you know what? 
I could face all these fears. I could do all these hard things. I could do, 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 do. Because right now, you know, I'm a, little, I'm a little bit in fear, man. Maybe. Maybe I'm, I'm like, oh, well, it's not working out this life. I might do it next. It's like, no. I'm going to know. If I could just do it right now, and how would it look like, and what would it be, and I'm going to get, you know, I'm going to get lit. I'm going to let myself get lit, because this is where I need to get lit. And I'm going to I'm gonna time shift to my best future through my Merkaba, but it's because I'm going to act on it now, because I'm healing with the masculine. I'm healing with energy. I'm untwisting it. I'm understanding where to use the masculine. I'm understanding where to apply force. And this is what I love, you know, on our last message, it was so beautiful. Um, the bonus, the bonus message, Loopy. The crocodile. The crocodile is fierce, man. She's fierce. But that mother crocodile holds her baby with loving care in that the jaws, those same jaws that can shred apart. You know, a threat. She holds her baby with love. Her babies with love. Guys, we got to do the same to our family members. We got to stop. You know, we're not doing that to them. Because, you know what? That blip, that hack in the matrix that gets in our minds sometimes, it, like, it makes us want to get in conflict. It makes us want to fight. It makes us want to force. It makes us want to get aggressive. No, we're healing from that. This is untwisted. I take great care of what I value. I value love. I value my loved ones. They're not perfect. Their shit stinks. I ain't gonna slow down. I have the energy. I need to realize my goals. I'm not gonna apply for us here. I need to find some patience. I need to find some tolerance. I need to find some compassion. I need to step back. I need space. I need a nap. Honor it. Okay, dog. They want us to know they're here with us. The, like, they're here with us. They're traveling with us. We're being protected. Even if we can't see them as we transform, they're here with us. Like, they're making this very clear. It's like, guys, it's so clear. Like, my body is reacting to it right now. This means something. We are going to find out what it means right now. We're going to go right there right now. Yes, we are. What does this mean? Just say no. We're going to do some more research. That's why we're here. We're going to call it in too. And this. This. So, we're going here. This is where we've been called to go. As well as guys. We're doing some massive healing with the body. Like, I have no fingernails on right now. I'm healing, man. I'm healing. I'm doing what I gotta do. <sighs> right? Just honoring some very deep healing with the body. Get me my Merkaba. Just, oh, something fell on my lap, guys. My tummy was holding it up. Because I've also been really enjoying eating right now. I'm so hungry. I'm going to change some of these things. Like I was saying to my mom, like, I'm so hungry I could eat a horse. I am not eating a horse. Or like, we can kill two birds with one stone. I'm not killing any birds. There's more than one way to skin a cat. I am not skinning a cat. I'm really learning words have power. This has really been being reflected back into my universe from so many messengers. Words have power. And I mean, I know we're going more telepathic and I want to communicate telepathically. Words have been a problem in my universe. But I picked the wrong ones. I got to get a redo. Because like I really say the opposite thing sometimes. I'm like, oh, that meant that. Oh, not in my mind, right? Like, okay. So back on track, back on track. Guys, this is the card. I really, I really was like, you know, but it's always about the show. It's about what's happening. It's about what's real. Now, goddess of the earth. Goddess of the earth. 